Welcome to the March 2019 update from the Nicholas Robinson School. In this edition, we're focusing on our students and their next steps in life after completing their education at the Nicholas School. The Nicholas School prioritizes its places for children of the most disadvantaged families in the town, the families of our local partners, the Tigray Disabled Veterans Association. Any child with a physical or learning impairment is integrated into the school, which provides a supportive environment for all the students. Our aim is to break the cycle of poverty by educating these young people to the highest possible level and to reach their full potential, whether their talents are academic, artistic, sporting or practical. Two years ago, we were proud when Feven achieved the opportunity to study for an international baccalaureate at United World College in Thailand. So one thing I, I appreciate about Nichols Robinson schools is the fact that it encourages every level of skill. So I think that's how I actually improved my English, where everyone was encouraged to do, like where it doesn't matter where level they were at, everyone was encouraged to um, learn and practice even if it's right or wrong. I think that helped me build on my confidence which I'm really using it now very well and also the sense of the way you said like about sustainability and uh, things that we do back in Ethiopia the, and the projects that are held in Nichols Robinson schools. We have a number of students who have the academic results needed to get into good universities in the United States, but they don't have a full grant, and until they do, they won't be able to attend. If anyone watching this video update is able to recommend a scholarship program for our students to consider, please contact us at the email address shown at the end of this short video. Our technical training department continues to develop and deliver great results. 16 students took a Certificate of Competence exam in food preparation recently, and all 16 successfully passed their exam. Now, we will help place them in hotels as fully paid employees, and with the help of the Netherlands technical experts, PUM, we will also run our first entrepreneurship training in May this year for those who want to set up their own small businesses. Finally, our first round of information and computer technology training on practical skills for adults is now being developed using our staff as volunteer students. We are very optimistic about the future of this training, as it is an area which is greatly in demand in Michaeli. Thank you very much for watching, and to find out more or to support our work, please log on to our website at www.rainbowsforchildren.org.